we're here in Fairfield, California with Carol, who's just a half a mile away from reaching 800,000 miles on her 1968 Mustang. Carol, are you ready? Ready. Can you hardly believe that your car has reached this many miles? Oh, uh, it's, it's really 42 years. Uh, it's a long time, but it's, it's gone by fast. But Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't part with my car for any amount of money. It's been pretty much my daily driver. I haven't really taken it, uh, mm -hmm. you know, on long trips. Mm -hmm. I kept it within probably a two-hour radius of uh, mm -hmm. of uh, Fairfield. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I once one time I, I got a free ticket to a a, a concert. Okay. Uh, because a dance troupe from Argentina. Uh huh. Uh, spotted my car and wanted to take pictures with it, so uh, I didn't have a ticket at that point for the concert, and their managers uh, said that he would go ahead and get me a ticket, so that's... So I your, your Ford ticket. Mustang got you a, a free, free concert ticket. ticket. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, so I'm constantly having people asking me, do I want to sell my car? I've had people offer me cash on the spot, uh -huh. uh, but... Uh, since this is my only car. Oh, this is your only vehicle? Yes. I've never had another car in the 42 years that I've owned it. Oh my goodness. So, uh, I couldn't sell it unless I had another car to replace it. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, it's been tempting, mm -hmm. but uh, I just don't think I can I could part with it. You know, it's been with me too long. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a played a very important role in my life in the last uh, three years. Uh, when I went through some very difficult personal circumstances, yeah, I was without a permanent place to live, yeah, and uh, was renting rooms in in private uh, homes with complete strangers. And your car was really and what got you through yes, that. Yes, absolutely. That's great. That's uh, a great story. My car was my uh, means of escape, mm -hmm. my freedom, mm -hmm. my sanctuary, my refuge, and uh, it gave me serenity and peace. There we are. There you have it, folks. Have you ever seen that before? We have all nines on the odometer, and we have Carol here about to drive her 800,000th mile on her 1968 Ford Mustang. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and... Should I go through the light? Yeah, let's go ahead and go through the light. I want to get this on camera for everybody. And Carol, why don't you go ahead and, and narrate from here on out and just let everyone know how you're feeling about this moment. Well, I'm pretty excited. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's taken quite a while to get to this uh, to this point. Mm -hmm. I don't know if either the car or I will be around when it uh, goes another 100,000 miles, but uh, we're on the last one-tenth now. Watch the nines disappear. All right, folks. You can see those nines disappearing. They're gonna yeah, all here reset comes to the zeros. zeros. Here come the zeros. Oh my goodness. Ooh, can yeah, you believe this? <laughs> all right. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna pull over. All right. There you go, folks. We have all zeros on the odometer. This car mm. has reached 800,000 miles. Wow. Carol, what are you feeling? Oh, I'm very excited. You my are. blue beast. <laughs> it's gotten you. Had for, uh, 42 years. I've maintained it for most of those years myself, and I'm very proud of uh, the care that uh, that I've taken on my car. Uh, with proper maintenance, that's what's got it to this point. And also knowledge of my vehicle, which I think is extremely important, especially for a woman in uh, in this day and age.